Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem shortest common super sequence. Before we move forward, let us first talk about the feedback of this problem. This problem is a medium level problem which is a wrapper of a very standard problem that is longest common subsequence. So at this point you might have realized that longest common subsequence is a prerequisite. So if you don't really know dynamic programming or if you don't really have good grip over recursion or if you have not solved up this problem that is longest common subsequence, kindly refrain yourself from continuing, pause at this point, learn those topics, come back to this, then you would be able to apply the learned concepts to this question and you would be able to score one more question mark, one more solve count. So now let's move forward. So talking about this problem, this problem tells us that we are given two strings. Okay, let's say the very first string is A, B, C, D and the very next string is X, Y, C, Z, C, D. It is telling us that we need to tell the length of a string which contains x as well as y as subsequence. Remember this. Now, what can be the variable string? So if we just say let's take a, b, x, y, c, x, y, c, d. And this should be the shortest length. Remember this. This particular length should be as minimum as possible. So now if you observe A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. It is in the order that it is appearing. So if you are still not familiar with the definition of subsequence, it is that all the alphabets of this particular x and y would be there in the given st resultant string in the same order as they appear. In the same manner x is here x y c d x y c d is in the order that it is appearing. Okay. So this is the question and this length you just need to return the length focus on this. You don't really need to return the resultant string you just need to return the length. The very first observation is that if only the length is asked then we should remove our focus on making up the string. So remove focus on getting the resultant string. Okay, like you shouldn't have the focus ki wo resultant string kaise banega. कैसे बन सकता है क्या क्या हो सकता है इसी पॉइंट से अगर आपको लेंथ ना पूछा जाए तो आपको उस लेंथ सिर्फ पूछा जाए तो आपको उस रिजल्टेंट स्ट्रिंग पे ध्यान नहीं देना है व्हाट आई मेंट टू से इज इफ ओनली द लेंथ इज आस्क्ड डोंट फोकस ऑन गेटिंग द रिजल्टेंट वैल्यू फोकस ऑन द लेंथ इटसेल्फ ओके दिस इज द फर्स्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन नाउ इफ ओनली द लेंथ इज आस्क्ड ओके इफ ओनली द लेंथ इज आस्क्ड so if you observe, this is the very first observation you would see that what is this? What, what is the length? The length is 6 and this length is 4, this length is 4. So if you observe that this somewhat has a relation, how how? See, A, C, D. The game is played at this point. Okay, rest everything is unique. So every unique thing needs to be represented individually but all the common things they kind of contribute as one. Like if you observe A, if you observe C is C and D, C and C is contributed by just once as well as D and D is contributed just once here. Matlab jo common hai वो एक बार कंट्रीब्यूट करेंगे रिजल्टेंट स्ट्रिंग पे, ओके? जैसे C, D are common, so they are resulting as just one. 
ओके एंड ए सी डी ओके एक्स वाई यप दे आर रिजल्टिंग एज कॉमन ए बी सी डी सिक्स वाई यप सो नो सी यू कैन क्लियरली सी दैट द कॉमन इज जस्ट कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू वन सो इफ आई कैन गेट सो आई कैन से लाइक एट दिस पॉइंट लेट मी रिमूव एवरीथिंग I can say that this would be all the characters which are not common. That is, all the characters which are not common. That A is not common, so A. Then B is not common, so B. Then C is common, so just leave it at this point. X is not common, X. Y is not common, so Y. And rest, this would be just C and D, because C and D is common. so i can say that this is nothing but unique characters and common subsequence this would be the length common subsequence now what is this unique characters so this would be the length of the resultant so i can say that the number i can say the common subsequence that is m plus n minus the length of longest longest common subsequence that is lcs would be my answer because all the characters all the characters minus common subsequence okay would give me this how how it is coming up see x y c d and a b c d a b c d okay minus c d okay minus c d so if you observe that c here c d is counted two times okay but if we just subtract the common count then this would be counted just once like this won't be counted twice now this would look something like x y a b and then c d would remain so this is it this is what the result we are trying to find okay so at this point so m and n is given this is just the length of both of them and we need to find longest common subsequence because longer it is minimum would be the length so when we are having the sub problem to find length of the longest common subsequence so just simply what you can do to learn at this point is just open up this longest longest common subsequence geeks for geeks practice see of this see of this if you are good with questions up and else you can just search this on the youtube itself and you would find a tutorial of mine or other mentors of geeks for geeks so now i already assume that you know longest common subsequence and this is the pre implemented longest common subsequence now what i would do is i would just reset this whole array to minus 1 that is mm set mm set t comma minus 1 comma size of t and then everything is reset to minus 1 and then i would say return this by size of m plus n minus lcs of x comma y comma m comma n this should be true enough now let us just see okay this is now let's do this yep and yes we were able to solve up this problem this was just a wrapper or longest common subsequence so that's it for today happy diwali take care everyone or it might be the scenario belated happy diwali all the best thank you